Celtics' win streak goes to two games, 18-3 and three overall, beating the Pacers by 10 points behind a big third quarter in which they scored almost 40 points and held the Pacers to 16 points. Kyrie Irving with another rock-solid night, 25 points on 20 shots. Al Horford showing a lot more aggression, um, which is great to see. A lot more confidence. Looking for a shot, step backs. Kevin McHale up and under, uh, shooting three with no hesitation. 21 points on 15 shots. Highly efficient. Another six assists and three blocks. Jason Tatum, a rather quiet night. Uh, only one for five from the field. But Terry Rozier... Scary Terry after scaring the crap out of us and shooting Brick City for two or three games. This is a second game in a row with 17 points or more. I believe he had 23 points last game. So really nice to see him refining his shooting stroke. And, you know, I guess we're just going to live and die by it, guys. You just live and die by Terry Rozier and Marcus Smart. And uh, Smart had a really big game, if you noticed, in the starting lineup. You know, it's totally different starting and coming off the bench. You're starting, you've just finished warming up your shooting, your shot is on, you're not coming out ice cold, right? Then you have the confidence because you're starting. You're not coming off the bench thinking, oh, if I break a couple shots, you know, it's not going to be a good look. But you're starting, you know you're going to be playing for a little while anyway. So for whatever reason, Marcus Smart shooting really soft tonight, really soft shooting touch, getting shooters bounces, six rebounds, Five assists as well, plus 12, ties the game high along with Tatum and Horford in that regard. Anyway, really nice to see. And going forward, you know, there may be times where the starting lineup includes Marcus Smart at shooting guard. Jason Tatum, no, uh, Jalen Brown at three, Jason Tatum at four, and Al Horford at five. Okay, that's just another look we totally can do. Totally can do that, right? And uh, especially if Terry Rozier is on a good run or something like that, we don't always have to start uh, Marcus Morris or Aaron Baines, especially depending on the matchup. If it's a small power forward, like tonight, for example, say Jalen Brown was here, we could have started Marcus Smart and Jalen Brown with Jason Tatum guarding Thaddeus Young. That's kind of a perfect matchup for him is Thaddeus Young. Um, but anyway, guys, another big night. I'll keep it short. Shemi Ojale, two for five from three. That was great to see. And uh, playing really good defense, too. And uh, another 19 minutes for him after playing 27 minutes last game. Abdul Nader, the team was minus 10 in that stretch where he played. So very much a fringe roster player as far as I'm concerned. Slow feet on defense and uh, just not quite got it all for the... NBA level, as far as I can tell, but uh, 40% from three. Anyway, big game over a depleted Pacers team, playing without Victor Oladipo, although we had our, we were shorthanded in our own regard. Uh, so bonus, another 17 points on 13 shots. Miles Turner, 19 points. Uh, but guys, let me know what you thought of the game. I'll see you soon. Peace.